Good, beautiful morning, everyone. It is Sunday, February 26, 2023. We are coming to you today from Universal's Royal Pacific Resort. Teddy and I just, we had done mobile check-in, so we went in to get our keys because this place comes with Express Pass. So follow along on our journey here. You guys know what to do. Grab yourselves a beverage of your choice and a tasty treat and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside this vlog at all times. Teddy's excited because he got laid. Look at that, honey. Pretty flowers. Welcome to Florida is forever home. My husband, Mark, and I are Maine natives that first moved to Florida in 2012. We first moved to the Orlando area like many do to pursue the magic to live around and work at Walt Disney World as well as the other Because with many, as time goes on, you start to experience so much more of real Florida. After a couple of years of working for Walt Disney World, uh, Mark decided to start working for the National Park Service, which took us all around the country. We'd come back to Florida on the off season, and it eventually it has landed us here at our current home base, Everglades National Park. So whether you just love to travel here to Florida, or whether you are considering making Florida your home, or whether Florida is already your home, follow us to see what there is to do all around this beautiful state they call the Sunshine State. What's next? One of the cool things about staying here at Royal Pacific is it does have water taxi access. So we're going to be trying that out. And that one is not coming to our dock, so we'll be watching this one come in. This is exciting. Boats coming and going in every direction. We are all aboard the water taxi, getting ready to take off, looking back at Sapphire. Yeah. How exciting. Gosh, you guys are so calm and cool. I walk off the boat and you're like, eh, Sunday. You know that brunch. Do you know the worst thing ever? For a boat? Icebergs. Yeah, icebergs. Now you're probably saying, Captain Rob, it's a beautiful morning. It's Florida. It's going to be hot today. We're not going to see an iceberg. But that's just it, isn't it? That other really big boat? They didn't see it either. Ninjas of the sea. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Here we go. He's funny. He's an awesome pilot. Well, guys, look at this day. There goes the bus. There's also bus transportation from this resort. You can also take the garden walk. Excellent day. Take a lot of pictures. They're going to look awesome. Speaking of taking pictures, oh my goodness, guys, look right here under this tree. Chickens are so awesome and amazing. I really like water chickens. Do you know why I like water chickens? Oh, by the way, seriously, too early to say barbecue sauce. Yeah, this is that part about that barbecue sauce. <laughs> I like water chickens because they quack me up. They're hilarious. Oh, this is about to get much worse. <laughs> Because first, is everybody doing okay? Everybody good? Yeah. Alright, everybody looks good. Nobody looks seasick or anything. That's a huge plus on the small boat like this. But um, I realized I did not properly welcome you aboard this brand new boat. You have a first day out the water? Oh, by the way, the Titanic! Oh, now don't let that give you a sinking feeling. Really not. 
Now that is the best joke in this whole trip. How long will that ever be over? She's like, get me close up, Joe. Anyways, guys, we are most of the way to City Walk, and I have yet to give you any useful information. Yeah, but it is. I'm probably not about to start now. <laughs> but on the left report side is Islands of Adventure. If you head to Islands after we die, both parks go until 8 o'clock tonight, which makes me easy to remember. Uh, if you go to the islands, take a right to the Margaritaville Airplane. Cross the bridge behind us for Islands. Universal Studios to the left. Do you guys remember that part about this being my first day driving a boat? Don't worry, a few minutes ago at breakfast, I, the most modern... It should be getting time for our room assignment to be coming out to get ready. So, Teddy and I have left Mark at the park to play, and we're ready to go do a room tour. We're ready to go do a resort tour. So, Teddy requested we take the garden path back to our resort. So, it's a good time to do it with him. Yeah, because Mark can't exactly... Uh, he doesn't do good walking long stretches. I gotta see which way. Okay, this way, honey. We're all Pacific. This way. So as you can see, I'm exiting the city walk area. Nice bells, huh, Teddy? And we're gonna take this nice, beautiful trail. said on average it's a seven to ten minute walk between city walk and the resort you can also take this path to go to sapphire falls aventura and i think if you keep going you can also get to cabana bay so as you saw when i went in on the boat real pretty views really pretty views we get to walk under the bridge hi you gonna walk under the bridge oh there's a boat coming water taxi like we took this morning. <laughs> Beautiful. I think someone's getting tired too. What do you think of the boat making the waves steady, huh? Continuing our stroll. It really is not a bad walk, and it does save you a lot of time if you don't want to wait in line to get a boat or a bus. And a lot of this in the afternoon even is nice and shaded. Beautiful stroll. So we're in Tower 2. No, 2551. On the fifth floor. Keep going, sweetie. You've got quite a ways to go, honey. I love the floral print. Keep going, sweetie. You've got quite a ways. He's going to ask every section of doors. We've come to a T. we got to go this way, Teddy. This way. Teddy is very excited to do the room tour. Where are you going to show them first? In the bathroom. In the bathroom. That is a humongous full-length mirror, folks. Oh. Look at that, Teddy. <laughs> yeah. And then there is a really cute vanity. Yes, I Lots of towels, hair yes, dryer. Okay, hold on. The first thing Teddy's excited about is there is a tub. You do have to, if you really want a tub, you have to make sure you put it on your request when you're booking and when you check in, remind them. And because they don't automatically come with a tub shower combo. For my son and my husband, and actually, I like soaking my legs when I can, too. Why it's a big tub. That's a nice tub, Teddy. Oh, look at you. Your room door just gets fancier and fancier all the time, bub. I like the, like, look of the, I don't know what you call it, just the rock work here in the shower. Looks like a really nice rain head. They do offer hygiene products, and it looks like the exact same stuff I had at Sapphire. I just recently did a stay at Sapphire Falls, so if you'd like to check that out. Look, you want to show them that it flushes. Yes, Teddy wants to show you all that the toilet flushes. Good job. Anyway, as I was saying, Teddy and I just recently did a review at Sapphire Falls. So if you want to go back in our Universal Orlando playlist, it, it's 
probably like two videos back maybe. Anyway, it's the same hygiene products at Sapphire Falls. So there is the little string you can pull across. I'm sorry the toilet's running behind me, Teddy. Had to show you all that it flushes. There we go. That string will pull across. I want to go across. And like that. Teddy really wanted me to show all of you. You pull it out from there. And he just likes it because his mother's short. And I always say in filming, I have trouble trying to film and reach up to connect it to the other end. But it goes up in there and you could hang your swimsuit, you know, really light things. Like I'm wearing one of those really thin shirts from like uh, Bass Pro Shop today. If I needed to just rinse it out in a sink, I could easily hang it on that line to dry. Like if I got caught in a thunder shower or was on a water ride or something yes, like that. This TV is this TV. Teddy's very fascinated that there's two little holders for toilet paper. So you are provided multiple angles for grabbing your toilet paper if that amuses you. There's a trash can in here. Beautiful artwork. The sliding door is frosted for your privacy and locks. There's a bar to hang your towels. There's also a hook up there to hang stuff. All right, honey, I already took the picture. So Teddy is showing you now the sink. I love this rose. That is beautiful. And it like and, stands out. And these towels. And those towels are nice and the hair dryer. And there's a little hook over here with some hand towels and a face cloth. The same thing over here, another hook. Then you have more hygiene products. Again, same as Sapphire. And I'm hoping this is gonna make my husband happy because when he saw my Sapphire video, he wasn't with us. Oh, it will. Mark wasn't with us at Sapphire, but he was loving that they gave Q-tips. So that is a special touch right there in these higher and that like you won't find at Cabana or Endless Summer. All right, Teddy's going to assist with the closet. And plenty of space to hang your toddler in there. I fit. You do fit. You, you could sleep in there, Teddy. We could put a little mat in there and you could sleep in there. There is a luggage rack. There is an ironing board. There's a, I believe that's not really an iron, but a steamer maybe. There's extra bedding. There's an in-room safe. I know you always stick out your tongue with a safe. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Thank you for the assistance. Plenty of uh, closet space to hang stuff. I want to make sure I showed the front alley. So there is a connecting room access if that was something that you had interest in. Also, if you're not, this is a great place to like store your suitcases. We haven't brought ours up from the van yet. Yeah, okay, you wanna show the beds now? He's ready for bed science, folks. I have been drooling over pictures of these rooms for years and years. Just based on those flowers alone, I was really hoping I was going to have a room with the purple flowers, but orange will be nice. Okay, do your bed science. Go. Whoa, is it a good one? Yeah. Yes. Back to the flowers. Orange will be nice. Orange is Mark's favorite color. So purple is my favorite color. Orange is Mark's. You're going to do bed science on this one? Look at how good you crawl up on these beds, boo. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, look at all the pillows. Are you going to count the pillows for me for this room tour? Yes, I'll count these pillows on here. Okay, you're going to count the ones on here? I'll kind of roam around while you do that so people can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think you're right. One, two, three, four, five. I count six because, oh, this is two. He's right. I thought that. Kind of tan one was bad. Good counting, boo. Good counting. Yes, count the pillows on the other bed. Okay, you may do that. I'm going to tell them about the theme here at Royal Pacific. It's a very Polynesian theme. Uh, you get a lay when you arrive and check in. They say mahalo. They use all of that lingo of the culture. I think, yeah, I think there's seven, honey. Five, six, seven. But I love the headboards. Those are super adorable and there is little reading lamps on one side of each bed and i'll turn one on to kind of show you that's helpful for those of us that wake up way earlier than the rest of our traveling ohana or those that stay up way later 
You're going to eight. He's talking in the mirror. That's cute. I'm doing eight hours. Or for those that stay up later than the rest of your travel in Ohana. End table in between the two queen beds. Quite a fancy little uh, clock system. USB ports on the front. That's always important to those of us that have a lot of devices. There's an in-room phone. So you can like talk to front desk. You can order your room service. Get a wake-up call. Find out about the weather, spa. Also a pad and pen. These hotels, anything above like the dock side and stuff like that are run by Lowe's. So Aventura, I think is, I know Sapphire Falls is, and then these three upper ones. So then there's also some charging ports here on the outside of this end table, two regular plugs and a USB plug. And correct me if I'm wrong, is that like a European? I have a friend in Denmark and she talks about outlets and whether they're smiling or frowning or all of that. And it always makes me giggle when she talks about it. So let's see what's in this drawer. Oh. Nothing really. Nothing in the drawer. No Good dominant. shelf on the bottom. The Carpet's beautiful. Was, was... Looking up from the middle table. These lamps are beautiful. I just keep looking at them. I love hanging lamps like that. So there's a lot of different lighting options in the room. As you can see, there's different light switches. You can shut those off. Oh, shoot. I was actually going to charge my phone before I came up, and it's going fast on me, so I better finish this room tour and give it a charge. Here's a look at the desk. Really nice work desk to work at. There's a nice little stand right there. Another full length. Some good charging ports here. Information on the resort. Nice little work light. Nice charging ports over there. Beautiful, beautiful big workspace if you need to do some work or like me, some school while you're on your staycation. Then there's this nice comfy chair. I like the clean lines on this chair. And it really is kind of a beautiful little setup here with a table and the view we have is just kind of out into bamboo so it's actually really relaxing no real theme park view or anything like we did at sapphire falls but that is really relaxing another major component most people want to know about there is a mini fridge and there is in-room coffee all kinds of options and I'm wondering do these pull out they do okay that's good I was gonna say I don't want to have to dig in to do that so those do pull out for easier access the bottom one is your ice bucket and some more like Splenda and stuff several of these little drawers but it's super adorable it, it kind of looks to me the theming of the front of the cabinet looks like an old travel trunk like old trunks they would have traveled with you know, way, way back in like Titanic days or something. Let's see if this opens up. That's my last curiosity, I think, of the room. No, it is just a little stool. Good for a teddy to sit on or good to put your feet on or your luggage. I'm and I'm going like a dandelion. Okay, but be careful when you sit down, please, Bubba. Don't go backwards, okay? Ah. I don't know, advertising this Jurassic World tour. I don't know what this is, but it looks phenomenal. All right. Those channels, Teddy. I'm trying to see here. Oh, that was. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the TV. Guide? So there's a. We, I turned the TV off, then turned it back on so you can connect a mobile device to it. There's your starter screen that gives your weather. As you can see, it's 3.09 p.m. It's 84 degrees out. I was trying to see if I did the guide or if I just upped the channels. What would that do? I'm trying to get to, ooh, Volcano Bay is gonna talk about Teddy. Let's see what the next one is. I'm looking for, there it is, Teddy. I think that's the one with your song you keep singing to me. It is, honey. There it is, Teddy, your song. Oh, he's going to be excited. 
Oh, that was so nice to finally see this resort. And we've been using the Express Pass all day that you get with these higher end resorts. And if you get these resorts at a good price, heck, that Express Pass for everybody in your travel in Ohana, that was worth it. I think today I did two rides on Rip Rocket, Transformers, E.T., uh, Gringotts. Uh, then we did, of course, we took time for lunch and all that. But, I, you know, and I'll go back tonight to use Express Pass more. And I'll go back tomorrow to use the Express Pass. So I'm going to take a break, recharge my phone, wait for, see if Mark wants to come back and join us for the rest of the resort tour. But here is our room. I have no complaints. Don't mind the coaster hair already. Don't care. But yeah, no complaints at all. That is beautiful. Teddy and I got cleaned up. Mark got done riding all his rides and now he has joined us. We have a little bit of time to explore before we go to dinner. This is gorgeous. You know Teddy's gonna try to stick his hands in. This yeah, yeah. is the fountain that's right outside of the check-in lobby. You knew he'd have to check this out, didn't you? Yeah. They said I couldn't survive in the South Seas. <laughs> this is nice. It's gorgeous out here tonight, weather-wise. The weather's like almost perfect. It's not hot. It's not cold. Our child's going to fall in. No, they have a pool down there, <laughs> right? We're not sure if the restaurant we're going to will have much for Teddy. So we're going to come in here to the Tuk Tuk Market and see if maybe there's an Uncrustable or something that we can have to make sure he has something good in his belly before dinner. This is kind of the grab and go coffee shop type of thing. They do serve Starbucks. Oh, resort mugs. Those are nice. Might do one at Cabana Bay because we'll be there two nights. This is late now and we'll be out early in the morning, so. But they do have that option. As you can see, different grab and grow snack. If you did have the resort mug, they have a nice uh, Coke Zero machine with a variety of choices. Also a nice little seating area in here. Really quiet right now because most people are either at the parks or at City Walk or maybe the pool or going to dinner, but there's a lot of outlets, guys. So if you really need kind of a quiet space where you want to enjoy some snacks while you charge, this time of day, it's, it's probably mm, 20 minutes to six. Our dining reservation for supper is at six. Another Coke Zero here. As you can see, there's a lot of little. I like that. Look at that charcuterie plate. That'd be tasty to take to like poolside or up to your room or out by the elephant pool there where we were. Teddy's found grapes and cheese, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. They have, but they have things for you know your little ones or even you if you just need a light snack. Some nice yogurts. This is good Teddy fixings right here between. Yogurts, go go squeezes, snack puddings. I don't, I, eat, I would do that sometime. If I wasn't going to dinner now, I would try that. Other things Teddy would like I mean, there's a whole fruit cup, there's yogurts, there's grab and go sandwiches. Is that the veggie wrap? Yeah, that's the veggie wrap. I actually had one like that at Sapphire Falls. It was really, really good. Nice big salads. Look at the size of these Caesar salads, Mark. Look at that. The salads are not, look at this chicken Caesar. That looks good too. And a dad is scolding a teddy, if you heard that in the background, because he's running wild child. Vegan salad, that looks good. Grab and go chips too. Oh, what did Mark find? What did Mark find? <gasps> oh that looks good 
Oh, they have a brownie brittle too. So what Mark really had the query about was the uh, <laughs> Uncrustables were frozen. He didn't understand why. And I'm like, it's a freezer. Look, it's all frozen treats. But actually a lot of people like getting Uncrustables frozen because they pop them in their like backpack and stuff to try to have it as a treat later on. But I wanted to point out, that's an awesome price for Uncrustables, $2. Uh, we get them at a lot of different stores, theme park stores, everywhere, all around, because it's one of Teddy's little favorite must-have snacks. Two dollars is a good price for Uncrustable. But yeah, reason why you might find them frozen sometimes is a lot of people want to pop them in their backpack and have them like two hours into, the, you know, their park day. There is some adult beverages, some grab-and-go sodas, chalky milk. Again, this is a store for a Teddy. Everything a Teddy would need. They even have some little quick grab cereals. Oh, gelato. Let's check out the gelato, guys. They do make shakes, too, and soft serve. That gelato looks really good. Case is a little bit with condensation, but there's some good looking treats. Every single one of these look much better than the weird, not worth it. Crap, I spent at Tussum's earlier this afternoon. These look much better. Yeah, I had something at Tussum's that you'll see on my general universal vlog. It was not very good at all. Waste of money. These chocolate bombs look really good too. And then you can get, I'll zoom in so you can see it better. You can get uh, hot sandwiches, other treats, hot dogs. There's also coffee fixing. And then there's also these uh, tuck tarts that kind of like pop tarts you can get too. Now we are down on the ground floor. There's a lot here. There's the game room. We'll come back to that. The Mariners Club. I don't quite know what that is because it's not the gymnasium. Mark, do you know? I'll have to. Mark walked the other direction. I'll have to ask him. There's also restrooms, a, a gift shop that's the Treasures of Bali, the gym. You can access the water taxis. The resort walkway, the convention center, the shuttle buses you can have this way as well. I'm going to have to ask Mark, what's the Mariners Club? Do you know what the Mariners Club is, honey? I have no idea what it is either. We might walk down that way after dinner. Our dinner is here at Islands. And I know the sun's coming right on me, but here is the pool. Pool hours are 9 to 10, so I don't know. We might get to experience it still today. We found the Mariners Club, and I think it's like where the, no, 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 honey, I think it's closed. I think it is a kids club. It doesn't even look like they really use it for much of anything anymore. So if they have activities, I bet that's where it is. Well, we fed him the Uncrustable. We had him run and run and run in circles and jump up and down. So we're hoping that maybe by the time we're seated and hand him Kindle, maybe he'll uh, be patient for mom and dad to have dinner. Yeah, I have Kindle. Mark. I said Kindle, Mark. I go, oh, no, did we lose it? Because Mark was carrying it. I do love, like, everything around here. If you are, man. Yeah, I want it. Well, I know you want it, but you have to earn it. Yeah, we have the bribery, too, that if he's of good choices during dinner, then arcade time will come after. This is when you get your sneak peek to the restaurant you're going into. We are one of the first seatings at Islands. They open at six. We have a six o'clock reservation. So really, really excited to try this. It does, it looks very puffy. I don't know what he means by that, but it looks very puffy, folks. First, I wanted to cover the kids menu because then Teddy will probably color on it. So we don't know. He did just eat the uh, Uncrustables. So we don't know if we'll go with something or maybe see if there's a side he might want. You do want french fries? They have mac and cheese too, Teddy. So. All right, now I'm going to go down across our menu. They have this thing called the walk experience. It's just on Friday and Saturday nights. Then they have nice looking starters. I could eat all of them. Lettuce wraps, crab ragoons, spring rolls. Oh my gosh, then you go down into the soups. Coconut soup sounds lovely to me. So does the uh, carrot soup. Salads. 
Then there is the chef's specialties. I'm eyeing up like the general sows, the Mongolian beef. Noodles sound good. Lo mein fried rice. I bet Mark would love that island's fried rice. And even the desserts. A ginger creme brulee, a Kona coffee macadamia tour. Oh, yes, please. Mark and I were just going over the menu and I had him pegged to a tee, but while we were just kind of going over, all of a sudden this shouted out to me and I wanted to make sure I included this in the film. Lowe's World Pacific Resort is proud to partner with and support the following farmers. Pure Produce, Lake Meadow Naturals, Fort McCoy Ranch, Wild Ocean Market. I love it when places say what they support for farm to table. Here is our bread service, and it looks like some kind of roll, and it looks like some kind of naan, so this is going to be fun to play with. Also some little pads of butter. And the bread monster next to me is already going, ooh, what is that? Our meal has come. Teddy's side of fries, which is huge, but he's more than happy that he's eating a roll. It's like a Hawaiian roll. Yeah, and looking out the window. I'm very excited about it. And then this is the island fried rice. It has coconut, the shrimp, peas. I can't remember what else it has in it, but scallions, stuff like that. So it looks good, and I'm gonna take a picture. All right, so we're gonna dig in, see how it is. I got the green curry chicken. Rice. A little bit dark, but let's talk and walk. The boys have already gone off to the arcade. Uh, that was horrible. <laughs> that was really not good at all. Um, how do I want to word it well? Let's come over here and sit for a minute, maybe. Maybe I'll get better lighting. So, I had the green curry chicken. Mark had the island fried rice. I did try his fried rice as well. Mine was just awful. I usually base things on three T's, taste, temperature, and texture. Temperature was okay. Taste and texture were just big no's. The chicken in my dish just reminded me of some frozen chicken that you'd see slapped on some microwavable uh, Thanksgiving dinner or something. It was a little salty. It just really lacked in any kind of taste whatsoever. It really, for where you are, I mean, this is one of Universal's high-end resorts. It was a nice table service in there and the food we got did not match the environment. I've had better Asian food at a mall by far. Mark's fried rice, I took a bite of his fried rice and it was the same thing. It looked pretty on the dish and I thought, oh, maybe I just ordered wrong. I took a bite of his fried rice and I'm like, mm, nothing compared to what I make at home. And same thing, I think I've had better fried rice at a mall. Uh, really was sad because we do have the express passes with this day and I was actually going to switch out with Mark and take some solo mom time to go run around the theme park. And I said, no, no, no. We really, really, to make the review of the resort well, we really should do a dining experience here, at least some sort of dining experience. We looked at the menu for here. We thought, oh, everything sounds so phenomenal. And it just was really not even remotely close to the level that it should be for what this resort is. It was just, uh, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna move on and go look at the arcade with the boys, but that was a big no for us. Huge disappointment. We did give our honest feedback to the manager. She did kind of take a little bit extra off the, the tab, but I'm, I'm still gonna be honest with all you guys. That, that just was not good. I certainly will not be returning anytime soon. Not, I'll, I might return to the resort so far. We, that's still to be determined, but that, that meal at Islands was a no. All right, time to go look at the arcade. 
So again, it's kind of a small arcade, like it was small at Sapphire. And the boys are already done because they, there's not much in here really. And they did do the air hockey table, but the air on it just in the surface is not good. We had that problem at Sapphire too. Teddy and I really had problem playing air hockey at Sapphire as well. And then I have a candy crush though. I've not, I don't think I've ever seen that in arcade, but yeah, this, this is it. Not a very big, we'll have a real arcade tomorrow night guys, won't we, when we go to Cabana. Yeah, we'll save our money, yeah, money for Cabana. They don't even have basketball. They had more in Sapphire than they have here. Yeah, at least at Sapphire we could do the basketball and stuff. Yeah, that's a shame. Teddy and I came down for a swim and they do have a poolside movie. That was really fun. So we're actually out now getting ready to head back up to the room, but I just wanted to give you a little brief look. It was actually a heated pool, so it was nice. Really nice experience. This is a good little hack we did. We actually went in like the bathroom section of Walmart and we found those like wraps that you drop your kid up in when you take them out of a bathtub or a shower. But it works great when they come out of a pool as well. We did it yesterday at Blizzard Beach over at Disney. And now here we are using it at the hotel. And it really made a difference when he got out to, you know, dry him off with a regular towel. And then he could come up through to the room wrapped up in that. And he stayed much warmer coming through the air conditioning. Good hack. Good morning, everyone. We are checking out of our stay here at Lowe's Royal Pacific. Quick little fill-in. Overall, not impressed. Except the thing that we get to use again today, and that's the Express Pass, huh, Daddy? Yeah. yeah. So, while Mark's driving us across the street to our next stay, which is Cabana, um, at the top right window. Overall, I think this resort is in dire need of a refurb and some upgrades. Open. There were several things I didn't like, like why the coffee maker is so low in that cabinet. And it was plugged in, so it wasn't like you could easily move it. So it was kind of a really hectic thing for in-room coffee. Our dinner last night was not good at all. There's no crosswalk to cross over to the self-parking, so it's really a hectic little knoll of a hill kind of dangerous to be trying to i think you should have gone the other way yeah, mark place yeah mark keeps place. getting lost in this driveway uh so yeah so like to walk across to yourself between self-parking and the lobby and all of the resort there's no crosswalk a lot of traffic coming and going it really is a safety hazard i didn't like that uh, just the whole feel of the room felt outdated but with that said, Mark did price what Express Pass would have been for one day, right? Yeah. For one day yesterday, Express Pass would have been close to 200 per person, which would have equaled for the three of us 600. Then multiply that by two because you actually get to use it on the day you check in and the day you check out. So say in for like a one night stay for us. So for two days, that would have been $1,200 for Express Passes. We only paid 300 for the room. So it is worth it. If you want to do Express Pass, World Pacific would be a good resort. Come get that Express Pass. The other positive was Teddy and I really enjoyed the pool last night. But other than the pool and the use of the Express Pass, for less money, I would so recommend Sapphire Falls, Cabana Bay, or even the Endless Summer Resorts. Oh, he just hit a bum. And with that said, I like the boat. Yeah. You can take boat transportation, but you can do that from Sapphire yeah, as well. I, I can, but I did enjoy the boat. Yeah, we had a really good pilot slash captain on, I know, our morning ride in. Anyway, gonna wrap it up. I don't really wanna, you know, go on and on with all the negatives. Let's just say we probably maybe would consider doing it again for Express Pass use. Like if we really wanted a special occasion where we could really get Express Passes, because for him and I it works, because okay, you go ride, I'll watch Teddy, because there's a lot of stuff Teddy won't do. 
and then vice versa. I ride, he watches Teddy, you know, switch off with watching Teddy and playing with Teddy with stuff Teddy wants to do. So if we really had a day where like, geez, the weather's gonna be awesome, we really wanna use Express Pass and it's unlimited, yeah, I would stay again if it was a good price. But overall, I would not go out of my way to choose this resort. And with that said, peace and love, gang. Keep adventuring, and I would ask what's next, but I already told you, we're going to check into Cabana Bay, which is about, yeah, two seconds away. See you next adventure.